Um, I'd like to check out my experience of awareness and um, my understanding of my personal uh, tendencies with it. So uh, over the years and the different paths that I've been on, there are people who have a more vibrant inner life just by nature. They feel more, they experience more internally. Um, and I'm not one of those people. I have a very quiet inner life, um, much more engaged externally. So when I go to awareness, this is kind of a, another version of the void experience we heard about a little bit earlier. Um, my experience of awareness is, is um, infinite, certainly, without lack, certainly, but I wouldn't give it attributes of, and I know happiness is just a placeholder, right? I wouldn't even give it attributes of peace because that implies a particular feeling. And it's, a, it's actually quite a feeling-less state when I go to awareness. Um, I don't have, um, that's okay with me, as long as that's okay, <laughs> okay? <Yeah. laughs> um, and so I'm, I'm okay being there, and it's a good place to be, and it informs my world, and it helps me engage in my life better. Um, over the years, I've had a few handfuls of experience with awareness that have been rich and profoundly peaceful and profoundly um, unified. There was only one experience and it was me and there was nothing else. And so uh, the way that I'm kind of putting this together is that the, the one experience that I have is only one experience, but it's kind of like the volume of a, a good set of speakers. Sometimes the volume is down, and sometimes the volume is up. In my particular experience, it's mostly quite quiet. It's still there. I can access it anytime I want. Um, it's consistent. It's right there for me. But it's usually not one that I would, again, apply these attributes of happiness or peace to. It's just that still, silent, completeness. So I guess I would like yes. your yeah. feedback on that. The, the reason we describe awareness as being innately peaceful and, and happy is in reference to the previous agitation and sense of lack. So if you have previously been very agitated and you trace your way back to yourself and you find no agitation in yourself. The, in contrast to the previous agitation, we call the nature of ourself peace. Likewise, previously there was a sense of lack. Uh, in other words, we were suffering and we were constantly trying to fulfill our sense of lack in the world, we trace our way back to ourself and when we, so to speak, get to ourself, we, we find no sense of lack there. So the word we use to describe the absence of the sense of lack is happiness. So the words peace and happiness are only used in reference to the previous agitation and lack. Once you've um, once you are accustomed to abiding in your true nature and the agitation and the sense of lack is no longer experienced or very rarely experienced, they are no longer there in your experience to contrast your current experience. And then it is no longer necessary to refer to yourself as being inherently peaceful or happy. Okay, and the, the exp those handful of experiences where the volume is turned up as not that it's other than awareness, but I do occasionally, rarely, but occasionally have a more intense experience of that place. How does that work? That, that, that would be a, um, an example of um, Walter Keir's comment that I mentioned a few days ago where happiness is peace in motion. And Peace is happiness at rest. This would be, um, if, if, if you allow me to use the word peace to describe the, the, 
the, the normal experience of being aware, but okay. more neutral. Okay. That this nice phrase that Walter Kears used, happiness is peace in, peace in motion. When that experience bubbles up, so to speak, it's, or, or in your language, when the volume goes up, it is experienced as happiness. But in fact, it's the, even that is only said in reference to your objective experience, because the experience of being aware is always the same experience. The volume never really goes up or down. It's never really more or less intense. So if awareness is infinite, using the metaphor of the river, um, it seems to me that we might have a surface level touch or a deeper level touch with awareness. If it's infinite and expansive, then might we not have different experiences of the intensity or volume of the awareness itself? The fact of being aware is always the same experience. There are no degrees of being aware. There are only degrees of what we are aware of. So the difference in intensity that you're referring to, I think, is the difference in the intensity of the effect that your knowledge of yourself has on your body and your mind. And that gives rise to a varying degree of emotion. You may feel a heightened emotion at some stage compared to your normal, rather neutral state. But this is not a heightened experience of being aware. It's a heightened effect of the fact of being aware on your body-mind. So it is your emotion, your feeling that is heightened. It's not the fact of being aware that is heightened. So it really is just this constant, most familiar, yeah. most normal, yeah. Yeah. most... Yeah, and it never evolves, it has no degrees of intensity. It's like the sun, it just always shines with the same brightness. Okay. That, that we could legitimately say there are various degrees of the veiling of our true nature, but our, depending on the, the opacity of our thoughts and feelings. And therefore, as we approach our true nature, as this, the opacity of our thoughts and feelings begins to, to, to fade, we may feel that our true nature is getting brighter and brighter and brighter, just as when the sun, when the clouds begins to disperse, we feel that it gets brighter. Now, the sun doesn't really get brighter, right. although it seems to. So it could be that this, that you, that, that's another, I, I still think my first suggestion is probably the correct one in your case, but it could also be that you are actually seeing yourself more and more clearly. But I don't think that's the case because I get the feeling that when you say you have the experience of being aware, that that's that that's just the full experience of being aware. I think it's the effect, particularly if you tend to be um, a rather quiet person on the inside with not a lot of internal, not a lot of intensity of emotion, that at some times your, the, the impact of being knowingly the presence of awareness um, reverberates in your body and your mind and there is a heightened emotion of happiness or, or joy. It's not a heightened experience of awareness. That does it. Thank you.